Now for the sake of transparency, I really want this vlog to be, it's not a vlog, it's a video log. It's not a vlog. I really want this to be transparent. I don't want to be, for the sake of cinematography, I don't want it to become uh, fake. So, um, for transparency, uh, I am filming a cinematic opening shot that I plan to use at beginnings and kind of a, shall we say, an intro thing. So I want a shot panning down there where I walk to this side and the camera slowly pans up. Maybe cheesy, maybe a little fake, but that's okay. As long as I'm being honest and open about it, it could be a fun intro. Setting up a shot with a $100 drone that has no autopilot can be tricky. Grasping the straps of your backpack schoolboy style is an excellent way to hide the fact that you're holding the remote in your hand. But you still have to fly one-handed, and without looking. Panning up until you're no longer in the shot not only looks cinematic, but it allows you to turn around and actually see the drone that you're piloting. Word of advice? Take care of high winds over the tops of the treetops. At this height, the last thing you want to do is lose control. If you do lose control, don't panic. Eventually, you might realize the wind is stronger than your drone altogether. If all else fails, the most important thing to remember is don't lose connection. If you lose connection at this distance, you have pretty much no chance of saving the drone. So, I just lost the drone again, way in these woods. Way in these woods in the middle of nowhere. I've gone on some boots, a backpack with about 1,500 milliliters of water, and I'm going deep into here. I really should have brought my um, head cam thing, but, but I gotta find it, honestly. There's no choice. I have an expensive camera on this. Poison ivy, who knows what. I'll just wash all this stuff when I get in the house. Here we go. Now if those dumb cars would leave, I could listen to the drone again. It still should be connected. <sighs> Chances are I'm gonna lose this. Good thing I gave, a, I gave my name and a phone number in case someone wants to return it one day. Nothing. Dang it. I think I lost it for good. Has my backup camera on there? <sighs> it's about 200 yards at worst. My fear is this drone will auto power off if it's landed and doesn't detect the remote after a certain amount of time. My fear is that it's going to think. The remote is, well, the remote will be out of range. And it will power off the drone. Well, if that happens, not much hope in finding it in this dense canopy. I've definitely lost connection by now. If I find this drone, this video is going to get titled like, Finding a Lost Drone, One in a Million Chance. If I don't find it, my title is something like, Poor Kid Loses Drone, Sad Face. Or I lost my brand new drone. There's a lot of those on YouTube though. I can't believe how stupid I was. I was told myself that I should put a string on it so it couldn't have gotten too far away. My brother said, no, you don't have to do that. When this remote auto powers off, I'll see if I can't reconnect. If I reconnect, the drone might think it's still in the air because it's not going to be at an angle. That might be my only advantage. Dude, I heard a very unmistakable sound of a big hollow plastic object falling about 80 yards over there. And it was just when I pre pressed the takeoff button. Let's listen. I'm gonna check it out. As it is, I'm hearing no revving sound, so it might have fallen down just from air, but that was unmistakably the sound of a large hit hollow plastic object. Now, there are deer in this woods. If a deer was like, made a really special sound, maybe that could have been it. But I, it's honestly the best lead I have. Wow, there's a lot of junk back here. 
right now, I wish I could become a deer. Wait, do you see that? Do you see that flashing thing right ahead of us? If that's the drone, I'm gonna die. It is, oh my gosh. I found it, look at it, it's over there, do you see it? How, thank you, Jesus Christ. Look at that, that's actually it. It just waved it down over there. All right, I can't lose my bearings in here. How did I find this? One in a million chance. I'm in the middle of the, ow, gosh dang. Uh, ow, big prickers, nasty prickers. Oh, ow my gosh, uh, ow, oh my gosh. Should've worn my tactical pants. They're meant to be help prevent entry from barbed wire. That is it, I am 90% sure, 95% sure that I saw the drone. My only fear is I'm gonna lose it. I know I saw it. I saw flashing red and green lights. It was just over here. Now where did it go? I know I saw it. Haha! <laughs> We did it! Whoa! Don't get me muddy. If I drop this GoPro, it's more worse than the drone and the camera on it combined. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Potential thumbnail. We freaking found this in the middle of here. There's no response. When I rev this, nothing lifts off already. Oh no. No! Oh yes, there's the camera. Now, oh my gosh, thank you God. Now the battery removed, which might mean that the footage is corrupted. Um, I'm pretty good with muxing and coating crap. So I bet I can save it. Okay, I cannot believe we did this, but the camera is gonna go in here. I'm gonna leave the battery kind of open. I don't, just in case some water got in, I don't wanna give it a charge. The drone, I'm gonna throw this. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this in here. And if I get poison ivy, I'll just wash the backpack. This is the luckiest little drone on earth. Now I'm going to mark this with duct tape. No one's going to find this for a thousand years and no one's even gonna find this. But if you happen to be in the New Philadelphia, Ohio area, about 400 yards north of our place, and you see this little piece of duct tape next to these trees, this is where I lost the drone. Wouldn't it be cool if like 50 year old me came back and found this just for the heck of it? Like I have super military tracking skills and I'm like, let's find that place where I lost the drone. How on earth? So, catch you later piece of duct tape. Ow! And no, that's not polluting, it's a marker. It's no more polluting than building a house. Now, all I have to do is find my way home. And I hope that footage looks good. Whoa! Literally, one in a million chance. Well, to be honest, this is not a bad way to open a vlog. It's not a vlog, it's a log. Here I'm screaming at a camera in the middle of the woods. While I'm screaming at myself, looking like a lunatic, no one can hear me, so I can do it all I want. I thought I might as well mention to the future me watching, or in case, ow, in case any random people decide to watch, this is the start of a pretty big adventure. I don't know what's gonna happen with me. Uh, I'm gonna switch arms, cause my arm's tired. You know, this really expensive one and a half pound camera. I think that's two and a half kilograms. People everywhere in the world who don't have a flag on the moon are laughing at me. So by the time I'm watching this, they probably do have a flag. Unless you're Russia, and then you think that since you landed, crash landed that satellite with that tiny sigil of the Russian sigil that you think you have a flag, which you don't. Just kidding, I like Russia. Who else is gonna build the most in Nagant? Even if Nagant helped with the trigger. One of the most impressive things about this camera is the fact that it doesn't overheat. Wow! You know, I'm looking into a actual vlogging camera. The RX100 Mark V is calling my name, but just like it, I also thought a little closer to budget orientation and I don't need the 4K. I thought, oh, ow, looking up the, um, the Canon G7 Mark II. 
G7X Mark II? I think that's what I'm looking at. Now, I might or might not be able to scrunch up some work scraping barns or something. Not the most illustrious or academically applicable job for my skill set, but what makes money makes money. Hey, why did I leave my camera here? Maybe it was to get a cool cinematic shot. Sorry, like I said, I want transparency, but there's something to be said for cinematography as long as the filmer, or in my case, I'm not a vlogger, just a video log. There's something to be said for someone who is really transparent about how he operates. I want to be real here. I don't want to put all these swing music with these crappy edits. Hey, this is where he filmed, oh my word, this is the assassin scene. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, shotgun shell. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, me and my brothers used to make home movies. We're really close. The time has come for me to move on. I have spent the many years here wasting away, trying to do things my way. I think there's a bigger plan for me. I think I wasted way too much time in this state, both geographically and mentally. I think I need to move on and I'm going to college. I think youth doesn't last forever. It really won't. For any of you watching, no matter how young you are, enjoy life while you have it because youth does not last forever. And I don't want to be that guy who says he spent his whole life waiting for that moment. When I die, I want to say I have no regrets. My pants are falling off. When I die, I want to say I have no regrets. So maybe buying a belt. I want to say I lived every moment to the max. I want people to remember me and say, I don't know. I want people to remember me. The scariest thing in this world is being forgotten. And it's too easy to do. It's too easy to forget people. How, name one soldier who was not a general or a sergeant in World War II. How about someone who was the last World War I soldier to die, huh? He just died, what, five years ago? And it's at my timeline, not your guys. It'll take me forever to edit this. And I'm lost! I'm a lost toy! Hey look, power lines. Let's touch it. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, make the most. Take life by the tail. There is no tomorrow. Time does not scale linearly in your perception of its passage. Time scales dynamic, uh, the, the logarithmically. And for every year, you will not increase like 10% faster. It could go up to 50% faster. Don't waste it. There are projects that I've worked on for 16 years that I'm giving up. Giving up for the chance of a better life. And I decided to film it because not everyone is going to choose to do this on their own. So maybe. Maybe, somewhere out there, someone is gonna see me and say, hey, that's kind of cool. How we just gave up everything, picked a direction and ran with nothing but 250 bucks, more or less. A, a direction and a dream. It doesn't matter if it's late 20 teens, early 2020s, or 2030s. You guys can do it at any age. I wasted a lot of time. A lot of time trying to do things my way. But eventually you've got to say, I guess what, maybe there's a plan for me. Maybe God knows better than I. And maybe I got a bright future for me and maybe there's a plan for me and everything's not gonna be, maybe I'm not gonna die a loser. Oh my God, oh my God. Hey look, home. Or should I say house? This place has never been a home for me and it never will. Anyway. Oh. Now the deeper we go into this vlog, you'll get to know me a little more. You get to learn a little bit more who about me, a little bit more my past. I'm not gonna lie, not all of it's happy. Some of it sucks, a lot. But what would be the point of watching a story where the hero was some privileged dude who had everything handed him on a silver platter? Come on. That is where my mom's dog is buried. I dare not tread on that ground for it is cursed. Cursed beyond your wildest dreams, that dog. I am scared of absolutely nothing, okay? There is nothing on this earth that can scare me, and that dog, the creepiest thing you've ever seen, and he's buried here, and I keep expecting himself to dig himself up. Literally, it can give me shudders wondering what would happen if I opened the door one night and saw his corpse standing there. Ew, nightmares. Don't get me wrong, this place is beautiful. One man's paradise is another man's prison. It's a cage. I haven't had a job three years. Heck, who knows how I even bought this GoPro Hero 4 silver. 
Brought to you by GoPro. Granted, there are a thousand people, a million people, who are worse off than millions, to be honest. We're not close to a billion. I'm very grateful for this kickstart I have, but I'm not gonna lie. We weren't dealt the best deck. Less than two months, and if all goes well. I believe in this place.